Okay, we're talking about the setup of the uh, DTD tent structure. And here we have Mr. Sunshine to talk us through the, the details. Hey there guys. Um, so, when setting up the desert to desert tent, we've learned a lot of different things about how to make it run smoothly because we failed a lot with it too. <laughs> and some of the most important things to note when building this tent is that there is no um, kind of set pattern in terms of when you open up the tarp, you can't see, you don't know where the poles go. Um, and you're not really sure how to tension these ropes here in the beginning. So uh, we're gonna, the, the basic way to kind of remember when setting up the desert to desert tent is uh, your first step is gonna be to lay out the tarp fully, flat onto the desert. So it's uh, fully laid out. And then you're gonna take the four corners and you want these to be the same length of rope to where you will uh, attach it into the ground. Um, so let's go take a look at some rope. You can see here, each of our corners are about roughly a meter, could be a meter and a half um, off the ground. And it's really important that these corners stay this far away. If they get too long, um, which we've done before, the tent rises up significantly and it doesn't have this low feeling this, uh, that we, we've created. Um, so how, how high off the ground you, would you say the edges are on this yeah. side? We, we're, we're looking for an ideal uh, because the shape is, is um, uh, a square. The, it rises up a little higher, obviously, in the centers than on the corners. The corners only go up about a foot off the ground, and then the uh, middle parts go almost a meter off the ground. They're almost directly vertical, closer to vertical, maybe about 70 degrees. Cool. Um, and then in terms of placing the tent poles, um, once we... Once you get the four corners bolted, uh, you'll have the center pole in the middle. And it's very, very important that you try and um, find the exact center of the tarp before you um, move too far because it's going to throw other things off if you don't find that center. And then we base into the ground. So when you attach the base plate to the ground where the center pole holds, you can't move that. So it's very important that you're in the center of the tent um, when you set all of this up. If you do these first two things first, everything else will go so smoothly and you can really kind of figure out the rest pretty easily. So um, really emphasize getting the center post in the center and making sure that you have the same length of rope on these corners. And then when you go to the next, uh, the middle of each side and start to stake down, you can kind of choose a length that you think is suitable most to um, how the design will be. This one we only, on the sides we have about a meter um, on each side. On the back we have, you can see on the back and the front our rope length expands. On the back and front we're about two meters, almost double, a little bit maybe over double the length. And this allows the tent to rise up a little bit more. Um, we did three ties here in the back because we don't use this as an entrance anyways so it's not so important for people to enter but if we go along to the other side to the front again you'll notice that we only use two ropes on this on the front entrance and these are the longest of the ropes these are probably three meters which allows the, the front to rise up higher and create this kind of entrance and it's very important that these poles are placed here to rise up that front level so it really creates a nice entrance for the tent. Um, Looks like you have um, five different poles that are two posts tall. And, and how many are in the back and how many are in the front? Yeah, so this year we decided to go with two posts. So this year we decided to go with two posts in the back. If you're looking from the front side, there's two posts in the back in the corners. There's these two posts here in the front and then there's two posts just a little bit offside still in the front as well. Those are all our six tall poles. Yeah, it makes then, a nice pattern. And then we have two small poles located on each side, the left and right side. So this is a, a one pole segment at the middle of each side 
and no no pull at, at the far corners, right? That's just yeah. rope. Yeah, no pull at the far corners. And that's it, really. This, uh, this is the basics for how to build the shade structure. Um, so, the, some... Uh, one last important note is remembering that the shape looks very, very different without the poles inside. So this takes a little bit of getting used to, is realizing that once you put those poles in, it will change the shape quite a bit. So it's hard to eyeball uh, uh, for your first time. But the poles are very easy to move and readjust once the main structure is set. So not too big of a problem. One thing we were hoping to do is at least mark the, the position of the middle, the exact middle, so that your starting point is always the same. Are we going to mark the, the tops of the uh, secondary poles or maybe let that be up to how they set it up? Because they're always tilted. You may know where the top is, but the bottom is just sort of your best judgment to get the shape right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I think we probably will try to mark them this year uh, because it does look like a really nice setup. So I don't think it would hurt to mark them. Okay. Uh, yeah. So whoever's setting it up, look for some black markings. That'll let, at least let you know which side is up and which is down and get you started on finding the exact middle so that you're working from uh, the correct position. Otherwise, it's hard to tension it to be symmetrical later. All right, that concludes the uh, D2D tent structure. Thanks, Mr. Sunshine. Stay nasty.